Uh, how's the game going over so far at the show? Uh, dude, we couldn't be happier. Everyone who plays it seems to completely love it. And like, there was even one dude who walked away looking all super angry, and Mike stopped him, right? And you were like, dude, it's well, you know. But then I, was, I was like, do you like it? And he turned around, and he's like, oh, it's totally awesome. <laughs> but it like left him perplexed. What the hell is that guy? There was like a great, what's that vulture doing there? Uh, it's flying around. Jason made that vulture for us. You made that vulture, Jason? It was a really late night one night, and I stayed up making a vulture. My wife had a lot of questions. Sure. Of course she did. I have a lot of questions too. Whoa, loop-de-loop. -loop. So how much, uh, I don't even know where to start. There's so much new stuff already. It sounds like you took Runner as just a basic skeleton and then just blew it up. You just steroided him up. He's all bulky and but beefed out. Yeah, we kind of we gave him a Schwarzenegger, and uh, like you saw the loop to loops. We also have square to squares, you know, which are square loop to loops, right? <laughs> oh my God, we even have double loop to loops, which I don't know if those are gonna make it in the game because they're really they kind of no, make no, you we, puke. You know, really? Checkpoints. Yeah, you've got checkpoints to make people feel safe and secure, you know, for all those people. There is a there is a caveat. We make the check we make the player want to jump over the checkpoint. Uh, you get a nice little reward, which is about to show up right now. Yeah. Um, thus, we are kind of giving a, a middle finger to the checkpoint people. <laughs> <laughs> because you're... Uh, it's, it's a middle finger of love as well, you know? It's well, like you're listening to the fans, yeah. but at the same time staying true to your vision. You're finding that compromise. And he jumps over, and Uncle Dill runs along with you for a while. <laughs> Uncle Dill is a pickled pickle. Who would not want to uh, run through that checkpoint? Nobody on Earth. Yeah. And then when you run through it, an old yucky sign just pops up and does this yucky. It's yeah. really disappointing. <laughs> so I'm always saying in games you've got to reward people even when they lose so they don't feel total defeat. But you're punishing people when they um, kind of take the easy way out. It's uh, the opposite, and that feels right. good. I wouldn't say we're punishing them. It's a slight slap on the we're, wrist. We're doing one of these. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Dill is not a... Uh, Uncle Dill, though. That's uh, Uncle Dill, though. Un Uncle Dildo. Oh, that's a good new character. <laughs> We're going to have several unlockable characters, uh, including Uncle Dill, who's a pickled pickle. So he's drunk. He kind of runs all goofy and shitty. Uh, let's see. We're going to have Command Girl video. We'll have Wet Fart Cheeseburger. And uh, <laughs> who else? We're going to have uh, the Flatwoods Monster, probably, yeah. if you know what that is. Of course. No. Who's that? Uh, <laughs> you know exactly what the Flatwoods Monster is. I think the big thing to talk about here today, though, is uh, the wet fart cheeseburger. Absolutely, that's a showstopper right there. What is the wet? Sh oh, Jason, tell me what the wet fart cheeseburger is, please. Well, I mean, the wet fart cheeseburger is a bit of a, it's kind of an enigma, but um, let's just say that the fans of Commander Video's rainbow cape are in for a real treat of condiments. <laughs> That's all. I, I feel properly teased at this point. Yeah. A real treat of condiments, yeah. indeed. And how are people taking to the new art style, Mike? Uh, people so far really love it uh, here at the show. In fact, they love it more than I could have ever imagined they would love it. Awesome. Awesome. Have there been any critiques of it? Because if so, now's the time to address those critiques. I'm going to address them. So uh, we have had some people that have you know, had concerns that they like the old art style. Um, and they came and played it, and they were basically like, if I didn't play this, uh, I wouldn't have seen. It was like actually having the experience to play it and be in the world right. uh, it opened up their eyes. Yeah, we had some, we had some like con conceptual haters uh -huh. come by. Uh -huh. And one thing that was rad, and I think this is rad about all of our fans, is they, they feel like they can be honest with us. So they were like, I'm not so sure, dudes. And then they played, and they were like, okay, totally get it. Really? Yeah, like everyone has said, I get it, I love it, the art style, no one, no one is bothered by it here at the show, which is great, because we love it. To me, it speaks to the fact that people were really attached to what you were doing before, and they're afraid of the change. They don't want you to uh, lose what made you special, but once they play it, they see it's still Runner. Uh, in fact, it's even more Runner than before. So that's why I'd like to uh, bring up that it's BitTrip Presents Runner 2, and it's not an actual BitTrip game. It's still Runner, it's just not BitTrip still got the the feel of runner if that's what you want it scent of it's runner the musky, the the musky, musky scent yeah. of runner one it's in there. and if you really you sort of have to <laughs> scratch you can, you can get it the, the scent up and into your into your nostrils but you know what people are always bagging on wes anderson for doing the same quirky 
uh, you know, art design and characters. People are bagging on Tim Burton for doing the, oh, I'm gloomy and Johnny Depp and my wife are in this movie. And you guys are actually changing it up, and I just think you deserve props for that. Tim Burton and Wes Anderson could learn a thing or two. When do we start getting bagged on for doing the same thing all the time, you know? Well, we won't because we don't. Yeah! Son of a bitch!